Hi everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reacting to episode six of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now, just to say, um, the reason I've got my hair pinned back is because I cut bangs into my own hair. And I'm not saying that it didn't work because I think it did work, but like, I just forgot how annoying they are to style. So if you see me sometimes with my hair pinned back like this, just know that it's because I've been lazy and I don't want to style it. I just cannot be bothered. <laughs> so in the last episode, we found out that Scar is an Ishvalan survivor and the Ishvalan people are like a race of folk who... I think the state alchemist thought had been completely eradicated, but it seems like he has survived. So now what he does is he goes and like, guess murders state alchemists. Um, but right now we don't really know if he's like actually a bad guy because he killed one of the bad guys. But now, but then he tried to kill Al and Edward. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. And then at the end, we actually saw, um, because Edward's arm needs to be fixed, um, we actually saw a girl who I think is Winry because obviously they're a lot older now. So I'm hoping it's her because I'd like to see the dynamic between those three sort of this many years on. Just so you know, over on Patreon, we are three to four weeks ahead and I also have timer reactions available as well as the normal kind of cut down full opacity full audio versions. The folks at the Eastern Command Center were a little too busy to make it down here today, so I came to see you off instead. Great, but would you mind telling me what the Major's doing here? <laughs> Is he gonna- Oh my god, he's gonna escort them. Shape for a fight now, Ed. The Major's here to help. Just try to grin and bear it. <laughs> you be so stubborn. Hey, shut up! I'm no child! Of <laughs> course. <laughs> Oh, he's with the animals. I thought he might get lonely with that little My company. brother isn't some kind of farm animal. <gasps> no way. Did he get put with the sheep? <laughs> God, poor Al. He doesn't have it easy, that guy. Okay, off on another adventure. I wonder what we'll come up against, like, in this part of the story. It's me, Alex Louise Armstrong from Central. <laughs> Friend of yours? <gasps> He's from Central, a talented state alchemist. The way he just ran! Oh, Major, you can really draw. <laughs> the portraiture has been passed down to the Armstrong family for generations. He must just be, like, in hiding, I guess. Maybe he's got a new name? These were drafted to help on the battlefields during the Civil War. Oh. Dr. came here. He's really been a lifesaver. He'll see any patient and he never gives up on anybody. We're lucky he's here. You see this big bright flash of light and then you're cured just like that. Hmm. <clears throat> this is it. I don't know. Does that sound right? I'm not sure. Uh, oh! <gasps> All right, that could have literally been the end of the show. <laughs> Please, doctor, calm down. I don't ever want to go back. Anything but that. Oh, That's because right, is he thinking that they're going to try and put them back, like, in the city where all the state alchemists are? I could spend my whole life trying and still never atone for the things I've done. But I what? had to do something, so I came here to be a... They really gave Al the, like, Nezuko treatment. <laughs> what exactly was what? it? I'm, to do like, research? what is he talking the about? The Philosopher's Stone. <gasps> Top secret materials I took were my research documents and the stone it's Oh my god! Did you mean you still have it? It's here? Would he have lost it maybe? Oh my god. Oh my god, has he got it? Oh my god, what the fuck? <gasps> There's no way to know when it will reach its limit and become unusable. Finished or not, it Right, okay. Fall in civil war, right? Uh -huh. huh. It's just like the stone that false priest had in Lior. It was incomplete, but it yeah. still amplified his powers considerably. Yeah, like it, there was still, it's, it still had the essence of the Philosopher's Stone, it just wasn't it. The ability to transmute a specific person's soul like this. 
Maybe one as talented as you would be able to produce a complete Philosopher's Stone. What? But I can't show you my research. Why? Seek after the stone. Not even if it's to get our bodies back? Never. This is the devil's research. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. I've already <sighs> been through hell! Please. Please. Yeah, he's saying that to the wrong person. Okay, well, this is like, this is an interesting development, though, because now we know that it can more or less take on any kind of form and it could, I guess, be completely recreated. Dr. Marco? This is where my materials are. <gasps> if you're certain you won't regret learning the truth in the end. What truth? Look closely. Maybe you'll oh. find the truth hidden within the truth. The one thing I'm worried about is that, like, Ed's gonna get the Philosopher's Stone, or, like, some something like it, and it's gonna be a fake. Edward, I thought I told you to call first when you're heading back here for maintenance. Wait, Ray, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> oh my god, she is everything. She's so cute. This information you need, you want to go to some... <gasps> the dog! Am I right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing, that's three all-nighters. Damn, she's done really well for herself to know all of this. Want to get to Central as soon as possible, right? Then I'll work my butt off for you. But you better believe you're going to pay a fortune in rush order fees. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of Handsome Squidward so much. Oh. I'm a friend of the, oh. the boy's father is an old drinking pal of mine. Hmm. One day, he up and left the village, abandoning his wife and sons. I don't even know whether he's alive now or not. Oh! So we actually don't know if he's dead or alive. <gasps> That's interesting. Come to think of it, madam. Where are young Winry's parents? Gone, Major. They both died in the Civil War. <gasps> My son and his wife were surgeons. And went to the battlefield to do what they could. Oh my gosh, so they're like, they're both, like, all three of them are orphans, really. That's so sad. War. Yes, it was indeed. <sighs> oh, looks like it's about time for me to get supper started. Oh. You look like you could eat a lot. But These two, I feel like I've seen too much. Trouble yourself on my account. Food always tastes better with guests anyway. We also have an empty patient's cot and some spare bedding if you'd like. Oh, the bird! Adding one more guest won't be any inconvenience to us. What about the house they grew up in? It's gone now. The brothers don't have any home to return. Oh, it's completely gone. After Ed had gotten his state certification, they burned down their own house. My guess is they did it because with no house to come home to, there could be no turning back. Oh my god! That's so sad! Yeah, you're right. But then why would they want to be somewhere where they tried to get their mum back and then it was... What they ended up having was a, was a little demon come out instead. <laughs> I don't... Like, I don't blame them. Like, would you want to step foot in there, you know? Oh, God. Oh, God. She's been up all night. Look at you working hard so early in the morning. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> You're still at it. <laughs> he is such a little shit, honestly. She's a machine. Get out. <laughs> I love her. She's great. Winry is exactly what I wanted her to become. Oh 
Oh my gosh, she's great. Freak. All right, we're done. It looks good. Well, it must be hard to get used to, though. I increased the percentage of chrome this time, so it should be less prone to rusting. The trade-off is that it's not quite as strong, so don't try anything crazy. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> as he bolts out the door. <laughs> Without those boys. Aww. Well, brother, it's time to head to Central and find Dr. Marco's documents. Oh, that's so fun. I'm so sad I can only watch this one episode. Aww. How old are the two of you boys now? I'm 14, and brother's 15. They're still just babies. To think someone as young and as small as he is could be used as a human weapon. It's almost funny. Especially watching him sleep. Oh, Winry, I love you! What's this? Why so formal? Granny, Winry, I'm so grateful to you for always welcoming us like we're really family. No. Oh. never say it, but I know Brother feels the same way. How? Don't you worry, dear. We know he feels that way too. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. Granny. Oh. Into the mountains just for some dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Edward, Alphonse, come back soon, okay? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I feel like um Ed and Winry could be something. Like I don't know. That seems that seems. Like that could be a thing. Oh, I was right. I just about slept through the entire day. Whenever Ed comes over, it's like a tornado. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. Whoopsie. Oh, she missed a screw. Bloody missed a screw. Oh well, she's she's done enough. She's done enough for them. Um. Yeah, so I, uh, this has been great. This has been a really, really great episode. And I really like that they went back to their hometown. But also, it's like really sad to know that they burnt down their house. I get it. But also, that's really, really sad because they literally are homeless, technically. I know they live um, in the city, but they're still kind of like, that's their family home, you know. Uh, but again, I don't know why they'd necessarily want to go back there. No, like, they'd have flashbacks and horrible probably memories of what happened and you know um and also I think in there might be a little bit of resentment for their dad as well their dad just upped and left I am hoping we get to meet him during the series but we might not if you are watching this please don't say yes or no I don't want any like confirmation for my theories but it's it kind of feels like a massive like fuck you to the to, to him as well because he doesn't have a home to come back to so everyone thank you so much for watching my reaction i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video goodbye